Hello, I've made some drawers. This one is in a cabinet like you might normally get, although the cabinet isn't, I didn't create the cabinet so it doesn't fit, the drawer doesn't fit it very well. This one's out in the open so you can sort of see behind the scenes how the magic happens. When I open them, they fill with shirts. And you can interact with these piles if there's any kind of code on the individual shirts to allow you to interact with them. And then when you close them, they tuck themselves away and vanish. And that's the basic idea. These only take up space when you are actually looking at them. The exact same method can be used for drawers, uh, cupboard, cabinets, and anything. We could do things like hide dishes in the kitchen, uh, kitchen cabinets, hide silverware in the kitchen drawers, and uh, all of this stuff comes very cheap. The only price is the cost of instantiating and destantiating which is pricey in terms of, you know, you don't want to do it a whole lot, but it's not really pricey in terms of happening once every five minutes or so when a character opens or closes a, a window or a door or whatever. Um, it's much less costly than leaving them in the game world. Anyhow, that's how things are developing. By the way, if, uh, if you noticed that Unity has stopped importing animations from Blender and you figured out how to make it import animations from Blender again, uh, could you tell me? Because Unity just mysteriously stopped importing Blender animations for me in the last update, um, which is obviously a deal breaker. So I'm hoping to have that fixed or figured out soon. I just have no idea. That's it.